very well, Captain. Scroggs, even before you were a ghost, your head was as empty as a gold ship's hole after crossing bowels with Captain Kidd. Give me that thing! Oh, Captain, are you waiting busting my whistle? I'll get you another <laughs> just as soon as we Shanghai and uh, recruit us a couple of able bodies for our long voyage. Now hoist the mainsail and let's get underway. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah, there's a likely-looking vessel to hang our hammocks in. Oh, Captain, that don't look like no ship to me. That looks like a house. I think we'd be on dry land, Captain. Captain Aloysius Bean of the Flying Dutchman ain't never on dry land. You ask you, Moby. Uh, Come on. We'll be needing us a good cook for the galley and uh, an empty-witted scallywag for slop and cleaning duties, the way I see it. <laughs> uh, we need a crew to sail far coast Yo ho, yo ho, when a couple of ghosts! <laughs> We're the Ghostbusters. I'm Spencer. He's Tracy. I'm Kong. We're the Ghostbusters. We're clever, courageous, and strong. Your sleep has been haunted with whispers and rattlings. Your blood has been curdled. We know what to do. Your skin has the creepies. I wonder what's happening. You're safe in our hands. We will take care of you. The Ghostbusters, spirits and demons, beware. The Ghostbusters, wherever you're hiding out there. We know what you're up to. We're ready for anything. We're bold and we're fearless and never afraid. We're always prepared. We're right there with every call. With us on the job, trouble soon fade. The Ghostbusters do it again. For stupidity, you would hold the world's record. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, where's Trace? Supermarket. He's gonna cook for us tonight. Trace is gonna cook for us? Right. Well, now that's my second favorite thing in the world. What's your first favorite? Pouring honey over my head and yelling into a bear's mouth while I listen for the echo. Fresh. Well, you cut out that cleaning business, you'd think the Queen of England was coming. You mean she's not? No. <laughs> All right, fellas, you can forget it. She ain't coming. <laughs> Chef, <laughs> what have we here today? Uh, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, Kong, this is our lucky day. Tracy here's going to whip up some of his health food formula. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's a secret, huh? Okay. Take two quarts of milk. One dozen eggs. A pound of butter. A dozen oranges. Beat well. Flavor to taste. Well, how was it? <laughs> it needs 
needs a pinch more salt. <laughs> Really like to have for dinner tonight some barbecue chicken. Hey, here's where we pick up our next ghost busting assignment. <laughs> Boy, when you turn in, you really turn in. Go get the message. chicken joint. Come on, let's go. Hoist the colors, we're going to show. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Calm seas tonight. Hardly any movement at all. A good cook and a scallywag? Come on! Zero says the captain and the first mate are coming back to recruit crew members, huh? Well, you know the old saying, only ghosts sail ghost ships. You mean the captain and the first mate are only recruiting ghosts? <laughs> and you know where they'll be looking for those recruits. Let's hurry up with this recruiting, Captain. I'm very afraid of ghosts. Oh, Scroggs, you're a ghost yourself. Well, that don't mean nothing, Captain. When I was a human being, I was afraid of people. Scroggs, I think your brain set sail while you were still ashore. We've got to find us and a couple of able-bodied ghosts. Wait a minute, Captain. What is it? I think I hear something. What do you hear? I don't know. It sounds like a small ring in my ear. Oh, Scroggs! This <laughs> Hey, that's the Flying Dutchman's horn. She's sailing. I guess they got their new crew members. You clown, that's a foghorn. <laughs> what are you two doing, dragging an anchor? <laughs> Come here. Now listen, I'll go over and check that way, and you and Trace go check that way. It's, it's scary out there. We could, we could run into a demon or a, a goblin or even a vampire. And then where'd we be without a stake? Not that kind of stake, a wooden stake. If that's a wooden stake, I'll shine your feet. Scrogs, I think we found our cook and cleaning hand. Oh, I 
see something coming? Oh. I got them coming. Ah, good. Oh, I got them both. <laughs> Real heavy. <laughs> you got Moby, you fool! Get out of my neck, you big palooka! Oh. 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 oh, give me that net. Now, you go that way, and I'll go this way. Right, Captain. Right over. Oh. Sorry, Captain. All right. Now, you go this way, and I'll go that way. <laughs> All right, matey. Let's you and me take a little stroll to the house. You get my meaning? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you toot the flute. <laughs> I haven't had so much fun since Long John Silver taught me the one step. <laughs> Captain Aloysius Bean of the Flying Dutchman is only. Hey, Cotton, your cook with your suit has got a flute to boot. Oh, Scroggs, you're a balmy bilge rat. How do you like that? I'm checking out the graveyard, and he's playing the fight. Can you believe it? Come on, let's go find Khan. What's he trying to tell us? I think it's something about the Pied Piper and a kangaroo. He... <laughs> That's the crummiest looking house I've ever seen. It looks almost as bad as the old house down by the cemetery. <laughs> ships and bottles before, but this is the first time I ever saw a ship in an easy. Yeah, I think what he's trying to tell us is that the ghosts are in that old house the other side of the cemetery. Starboard bow. We've got to figure out some way to get in there. It's probably locked. Why don't we get out of here and go to a movie? That's good. Hey, come on. I hear voices in that big room down there. Sound the broadside, Scroggs. We're about to take on our new cook and scrubber. But we got no broadside, uh, Captain. Sound the broadside. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, bang, boom. Uh, <laughs> I wonder who he's got in mind for a cook and a cleaning guy. Yes, sir, Scroggs. The cook in the fur coat and the scrubby in the funny suit is about to join the crew of the Flying Dutchman. Can't ever sneak up on me. Well, you two quit squabbling. Now, I'll tell you what, don't worry about a thing. We'll go in there and zap him with that ghost dematerializer, and that will be that. Give me the, the ghost kit. <laughs> we, we left it in the cemetery. What? We left it in the cemetery. All right, you two go and stall those two ghosts. I'll go get it. Stall them? 
How? They are trying to recruit a crew, right? So you beat them to it. Enlist. Hmm? <laughs> Trick was the walloping window blind. Have us there, ye lovers. <laughs> Batten down all the hatches. Make fast the poop deck to the mizzen mast and set the sails for full speed ahead. I there, who be master of this here sloop? I be Captain Aloysius Bean of the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> <laughs> Who ye be? <laughs> Sailing folks call me Salty Spencer. Tell them who ye be. <laughs> he don't talk much, but he be great in the galley. Oh. <laughs> Whip up some bitters, whilst I make sure that the board deck gets a cleat swim down fore and aft. Sweepers, man your poop deck! <laughs> The best there! Hoist the anchor! Set sail for the Flying Dutchman! You heard the captain! Time to weigh up anchor! Aye, aye, sir! Time to weigh up anchor! You heard the best. Until Khan gets back. At least they don't know we're not ghosts. <laughs> now what I be thinking, Captain? Mm -hmm. I be thinking these recruits ain't necessarily ghosts. I know that. <laughs> I'm just stringing them along. <laughs> they soon will be, though. <laughs> now, you get the grappling nets ready, and when I give the signal... <laughs> Yo ho ho in the Battle of Rubble. That's rather a strange and bizarre way of cleaning a deck, sir. Aye, sir. I'd not be cleaning the deck, sir. I'd be cleaning the mop. Hardy, hardy, hardy. Ah, that makes sense. When you're through with that, clean my uniform. Aye, aye, sir. With <laughs> How is that, sir? Are you sure your first name is in Mowbray, Spencer? I never thought of it that way. A vast hand, lover! Watch it, Captain. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I desire some scrambled eggs, Cookie. <laughs> Only one egg. Very well. Oh. <laughs> Dinosaur that laid that must have been a hermit. Deep six that thing. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day when I'd feel sorry for old Mobe. <laughs> Whilst they're together, they'll make fit ghosts for the Flying Dutchman. Freeze! <laughs> oh, you landed the wrong fish! Oh. oh! What do we do now? They're invisible! This calls for intelligence and master handling. Now, fortunately, I am an expert and I've had experience. Captain Bean gets seasick! Captain Bean gets seasick! <laughs> for this mobile. There'll be another day. Oh, that one. Yeah. All right, Scruggs, we'll we'll split the duties. You do the cleaning. I'll do the cooking. Oh, cutting. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the Flying Dutchman won't be visiting this port for a while. 
They're lucky. They won't be here for dinner. Now, that's not fair. Tracy ain't that bad a cook. Yeah. Har, har, har. Well, I can always toss my share to Moby, whatever his name was. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.